AI-generated art has been making significant advancements over the past decade. I have attempted to dabble in it before to create concept art for my game development endeavors, but was never satisfied with any of the solutions. They were all somewhat functional, but nothing ever generated quite right in my eyes. That is until now. I have just become aware of this new AI art generator called Midjourney, and the results are absolutely mind-blowing. This AI art generator is run completely within Discord and has a free trial that anyone can try out. But as a heads up, the trial is limited, and after that expires, there are paid subscriptions. But I am not affiliated with Midjourney by any means, but I can't say I would be against it. In this video, I want to discuss more about what this AI art generator means when it comes to the future of the metaverse and VR related content. But for those who have not heard about Midjourney at all, I'll start off with a quick TLDR. I will also leave a link in the description to the video I saw which first introduced me to this AI art generator. It is an excellent video and a great resource to get started with, so I definitely recommend checking that out after this video if you want to try generating some art using AI yourself. As for the TLDR, this AI art generator is run entirely on Discord. If you go to the Midjourney website to join the beta, it is going to require you to create a Discord account if you do not have one already. And real quick, whether or not you already have a Discord account or are creating one for the first time to play around with this AI art generator, feel free to join my own Discord server to follow along with my game dev, YouTube, and live streaming content. An invite link can be found in the description below. Once you have access to the Midjourney Discord server, you can see that there are a few newbie channels. These are the channels you can access with your free trial. In these channels, generating art can be done completely with just typing out words. Start with typing slash and the word imagine and click on the pop-up or press space. You will now see slash imagine and the word prompt in an area where you can type in after that. In that area, all you need to do is type in words and phrases of whatever you would like to generate. You can type in as many words or phrases as you would like by separating them with commas. Since these channels are for the free trial, you can see in real time examples of other users who are generating art and what words and phrases they are using. Just look at some of these images that are being produced. The AI will also generate four variations for each imagine command you give, which then allows you to choose your favorite of those four images or create additional variations using one of those four images as a base. Again, I don't want to reinvent the wheel here by making an entire tutorial video covering all the details of how to use Midjourney. If you have any trouble getting set up, then I definitely recommend checking out the video linked in the description after you finish watching this video, as it is a very good reference. Now, as great as I'm making this AI art generator sound, it is by no means perfect. I used it to try to create a new profile picture for all my social media accounts, and I ended up burning through my entire free trial before I got something I was happy with. Here is the character I ended up creating in just seconds with Midjourney. Now, at first glance, I thought that looked pretty awesome, and so did others who I shared it with. However, if you take a closer look at the face, it honestly looks like a complete mess. I ended up using Photoshop to make some manual touch-ups to the face and ended up with this final version. Definitely not perfect in my opinion, but for less than one hour of work, these results are absolutely incredible. I am absolutely a huge fan of art, and this AI generated art definitely did not produce the same results I had in my head, which may have been able to be achieved if I worked with a professional artist. I do own a Wacom Cintiq tablet myself, as I would love to be able to create digital art as good as this myself, but in the end, I'm a programmer first, so my art skills just aren't there yet, and I know it's going to take a lot of time and practice before I can get to that level. So with that being said, the fact that I was able to use AI to generate this piece of art and then make manual touch-ups to it all in less than an hour is incredible. Already, I can see this being a massive time save for indie game developers who need concept art for making level environments or other types of objects. And then that begs the question, where does it go from here? Why stop at generating 2D concept art? Over time, AI is only going to get exponentially better. Eventually, there will not be a need to have to make manual touch-ups to these AI-generated pieces. But even beyond that, I believe we'll eventually start to see AI-generated 3D models that can be generated just as easy as using Midjourney for 2D art. When it comes to virtual reality, the metaverse, Web 3.0, whatever you want to call it. At the end of the day, a 3D environment needs to be created. This involves 3D models, textures, animations, and shaders to all be created, which takes a ton of different skills and even more time to create such immersive experiences. But with an AI generator, I believe there will be a phase where AI generators will be able to be used as tools to speed up this process by generating 3D environments, models, textures, etc. to be used for human artists to manually edit them. Eventually, the AI will become sophisticated enough in the 3D workflow where it is so good that those outputs 
outputs no longer need manual edits anymore. Let's use Meta's Horizon World social platform as a quick example. As you can see, this social VR platform has a rather cartoony look to it. There's also a built-in editor where users can create their own worlds, which actually pretty closely resembles a game engine. In the end, this world creator tool is a set of rules that right now humans can use to create interactive 3D environments. So what is to stop an AI from eventually being able to generate such worlds? AI-generated art, AI-generated 3D objects, AI-generated 3D environments. With just typing a few words or phrases, eventually we'll be able to create entire immersive experiences in no time at all. Combine that with the power of Unreal Engine 5, and you can start to see that AI-generated worlds don't have to be limited to cartoon avatars, but instead can be as photorealistic as the real world, where honestly, this starts to become kind of scary. What are your thoughts about this AI art generator? How long do you think it will take for AI to become an effective tool for generating 3D content and thus speeding up the development process of virtual spaces? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments as I would love to discuss more. If you made it this far in the video, please make sure to like and subscribe as that is a huge help to the channel. Also, be sure to check out my Unreal Engine 5 video, as where I believe it will be a game changer for VR as technology continues to advance. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.